Hello and welcome to another edition of Wine Vault TV. Um, you'll notice an absence, and I do apologise for the absence of uh, episodes this week. It's just I've been a bit, um, bit under the weather, a bit crook. But um, I'm going to do something tonight which I don't normally do, which is a, a French wine. We normally so are so focused and concentrated on New Zealand wine. I thought I'd do a French wine for a, a change, and it's the Willy Gisselbrecht Pinot Gris Tradition 2008, and um, basically. They've been around since the 17th century. Uh, I think Claude, from memory, runs the, the vineyard and the winery right now. They've got 17 hectares of some of the best soils in Alsace for Pinot Gris. Um, and the word, even the word Pinot Gris, Pinot comes from pine cone and Gris from grey, in French word for grey. And um, that basically just reflects a, the shape of the, the bunch of grapes and also that the Pinot Gris, despite it being a white wine, has this kind of reddish grey, kind of, I guess, a purplish colour. Um, and even though sometimes you get a, almost a, a pink tinge to it, it's generally white. So, um, let's anyway, let's get this. It's a bit... Uh, Bit challenged. I may have to get a another glass. And um, as you can see, see that I'm doing this at home. So um, let's um, try with this glass. It, it's right now because it's cold, and it's not something I normally do. It's quite aromatically challenged on the nose. But what you do get is like it's got this really abundant fruit sweetness but not overly sweet like we're finding some New Zealand Pinot Gris right now it's almost like that white peach very ripe white peach almost kind of a bit of tangerine kind of bit of grapefruit kind of character in there as well for me, this, this wine is going to be for, for, for Kiwis who really, really want to kind of like explore the Pinot Gris varietal from kind of one of its homes. The other place is obviously Italy, called Pinot Grigio. And um, yeah, it's, um, it's starting to get a bit more of that kind of peach kind of character on the nose. Anyway, it's um, it was good to see everybody at breakfast this week, um, despite the, uh, the exciting start to it. And um, and also the good to see all those turn up to wine club to do the reasons. Very interesting kind of results came out of that, um, especially the Pyramid Valley, which um, I've got to say was exceptional. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you over the next uh, couple of days doing some more episodes. And um, I've got, just got something for kind of Eric Arnold. This is the kind of wines I've got to do tomorrow morning. You'll see I've got a few goodies in there as well from. Uh, just to, to try and uh, do a variety kind of um, and a few episodes this weekend. Anyway, I'll catch you later.